Hey, what's up, manga horror fans? I had to make an emergency uh, video because Junji Ito just put out his first um, uh, art book. So I picked it up, you know, went to the uh, Japanese bookstore today, and to my surprise, I saw this. So I was like, what? I have to have that. So bought it, brought it home, and now I'm gonna share it with you guys. So let's check it out. Wow, look at this interior artwork here. So awesome. Oh, but before I go into that, actually, <laughs> what I should tell you guys, um, if you don't know uh, Junji Ito's work, he does a lot of uh, horror manga. So he's uh, got quite a few books out. I have some of them, I don't have all of them. Shiver is probably one of the um, most popular books that he has out. And, um, but I have se several others. Uzumaki I have. Tomi. And uh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein, you know, I really like the uh, classic horror stuff, so I had to pick up Frankenstein. But um, if you haven't seen his work, I'll just kind of flip through this really quick so you can see what it looks like. And of course, I'm flipping through it backwards here, but. You know, you can see his illustrations and how detailed they are and kind of creepy. A little gory, too. So, okay, let's dip into this art book now that you know a little bit about Junji Ito and see what we have here. I actually haven't looked through this. I, I kind of flipped through it, but I really, really haven't, you know, spent time looking through it. So whatever I see here is probably going to be the first time I see it with you guys. So already amazing artwork. I believe this is probably Tomi here. So that's beautiful artwork right there. Get the eyes here, like peeping through the windows and down here. Just very creepy. You know, you've got this girl sitting here and it's just a photograph of her. She's just, you know, very serene. And then you got these creepy eyes like staring out the windows. So I'm not gonna go through every page, especially since this book just came out. You know, you guys should probably just get a taste of it. That way if, um, if you wanna pick it up, you know, you'll have some surprises left. But anyway, here's the shiver cover. And um, this looks like Tomi again. Yeah, pretty sure. Is this one here? Probably from Azumaki. So. And it's funny because I've, I've got, you know, I've got these four um, Junji Ito books, but I've only really read Shiver. I've started reading Frankenstein, but then I kind of um, started reading something else. So I have to get back to Frankenstein and finish it up. But Tomi and Uzumaki, I, I have not even scratched the surface on, so. I love his artwork. He's got like kind of the perfect combination of creepy and you know, he's got this like really nice stylized artwork. So, you know, the, the characters look really nice and everything, but then you got the creepiness going on too. And this is awesome right here. Look at all this. So he does, uh, I believe it's uh, Uzumaki where he's, it's like a whole book about swirls and curls and, you know, things that you wouldn't even think were horror based or horrifying and, and then you, you realize that they are, so. But as you guys know, I've, I've got so many books and I'm trying to read them all. Hopefully in my lifetime, I'll finish reading them all. Um, so, you know, eventually I'll get, uh, I'll get to these books too. I don't even know what's going on here. I 
Look at that creepy kid. Junji Ito just takes creepy to another level. This artwork is beautiful. Oh, that's cute. He does have a book, and I don't have it, but he does have a book about, uh, I think it's, it's kind of more slice of life, and it's about cats. And I don't think it has anything to do with horror, but um, you can see that he's got some illustrations of cats. Here's another book I don't have. After I read these two guys, I'll, I'll pick up this one. I can't remember what it's called right now. I was hoping it would, you know, that there would be a little caption. Wow, look at that. I believe this was from Shiver, if I remember correctly. It's just about this guy who's having like a some sort of nightmare and he's also aging very quickly. I know that doesn't tell you much but it's not supposed to tell you much because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Some notes in the back. It's like notes on, on the illustrations back here. Oh, look at that. Creepy. It's like, <clears throat> it's like silver with black ink. So they did this like uh, silver over the, uh, the page here and then, and then the ink over the silver. It looks really nice. It almost, you know, you would almost mistake it for being gray if you didn't know any better. And then if, you know, once the light hits it, you can see that it's actually silver. So that's it. Um, later on, I'll probably do a, a full review of the book. But for right now, just kind of wanted to give you guys a taste of it. And um, I think it's pretty awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Look at this cover. This cover is just so creepy looking very uh, symmetrical but it's got a little bit of everything it's got the swirls and curls here and spider webs I love spider webs for some reason like uh, in illustrations not in real life you know when you walk into the garage to get into your car and you walk right into a spider web not fun at all but uh, in illustrations looking pretty awesome and creepy Thanks so much for watching, you guys. See you next time. Bye.